Welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, we are actually going to do something a little different. You're probably looking like, this bitch has already done a look like this before. However, there is something a little different on my face. I actually added some faux freckles. So that's what I wanted to teach y'all today. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching the video. We're going to start with the eyebrows. Now, I know I don't typically like do my eyebrows on camera, but I get a lot of questions on how I do my eyebrows now. I'm currently sharpening my pencil. So I'm just going to give a little update on my makeup skills. Okay. So we're just going to lightly brush through these brows. And y'all know I like a strong brow, so that's the brow I'm going to teach y'all for like glam looks and stuff. But it's still going to be like real natural. And you're going to brush the hair up. This is just a little spoolie attached to the brow pencil. And make sure your eyebrows are clean when you do your eyebrows because once you conceal, it's going to be, if you have like a bunch of hair, so it's not gonna look right. Like it's gonna look real textured and you don't want that. You want the eyebrow to be smooth and like real crisp. First you're gonna brush the hairs upward so they're all standing up. And we're gonna work on sketching out the eyebrow first. Now you see like my eyebrow is thick to thin. So we're gonna try to make this like as equal as possible. For the top, we're going to brush the hair downward and we're going to outline the top half. Now, another good trick to do is your eyebrow should end where the tip of your nostril is. So the outer part of your nostril, that's where your eyebrow should end. And then for the arch, it should be where your pupil is. So not here, but your arch should be over here. So if you just want to draw little lines to kind of give you like a point of like where this should be in the arch should be do that and then the tail y'all know should extend from the outer corner when you get to the beginning of the eyebrow make sure you're doing like light strokes because you don't want the beginning part of the eyebrow to be too dark because that's where you get like you just don't need them problems. So I'm going in with a different pencil. It's just a different color. It's more of like a, a reddish chocolate brown. It's still dark though. And I'm gonna fill it in, the entire brow in. And then you can go in with the spoolie and brush the hairs up and then comb through the brow so the color is distributed evenly. And we're gonna carve out the eyebrow so you're gonna start here under the brow and you're gonna pull the concealer down and, and down and across and down. now for the top of the brow make sure when you're going in with the angled brush you're holding it flat don't come this way on the eyebrow come out on the eyebrow so when you're holding it and you're gonna flick the motions upward because I find like you get a cleaner brow when you flick the concealer up instead of going across now if you feel like you kind of made some mistakes as you can see it's like a little choppy up here just go back in with your pencil So to blend out this part, I'm just going in with this slanted brush, it looks like this. I'm just going to buff this concealer in so it's not so harsh. So I'm going to do my other brow off camera and then we're going to continue with the tutorial. So I already have my eyes 
primed and you see I finished my eyebrow. So we're gonna go in with the eye look. So for this eye look, I wanted to do something that was like really simple and nice for the summer because I wanted to add some faux freckles. So we don't want like too much going on with the eyes and I do want to look super bronze and dewy. So obviously y'all already know what palette I'm going in with. I'm going in with the Morphe 350M palette. And for our transition shade, I'm going to mix this color with this color. And I'm taking it on this blending brush by Shani Brushes. And y'all know these don't have numbers. So go in with any blending brush that you have. And we're going to put this in the crease. So the next color we're going to go in with, we're going to take this chocolate brown right here. And we're just going to put this on the outer part of the eye, like right up in here. So I'm going to go in with the JH palette by Morphe and this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to go in with this nice goldy brown shade and we're going to dust this all over the lid and probably I'm just going to go in with my finger. We're going to color correct real quick. And I'm just taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade. So for foundation, I'm taking this um, MAC Match Master in the shade 7.5. And I'm just gonna squirt three pumps on the back of my hand. On the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna mix it in with the NYX Liquid Illuminator. I'm gonna go in with my booty blend, beauty blender. Beauty blender. I'm just gonna pat this around. So the rest of the steps are the same. So I'm actually gonna finish my makeup off camera, and I'll be right back when I do the freckles, highlight, lip, and put my lashes. On. We'll be right back. So the face is complete. If y'all wanna see how I do this type of face i did it in my easy summer glow tutorial it's the exact same thing that i did i will leave it somewhere in this video but it will definitely be in the description box below so go check that out if you want to see how i do my face but for lashes we're just going to go in with these type of lashes by lena lashes i have no idea what the name is because one day i just randomly like threw all my lashes in a box so I don't know the name, but I will find the name and I will leave that in the description box too. So I have my lashes on as you can see. So now we're just going to work on the bottom lash line. I'm going with this new pencil by Wet n Wild because I don't want anything too dark because we want this look to be really like fresh and like glowy. So I'm going in with this new pencil and we're just going to put this all in the waterline. Mom, <laughs> just go right there. Y'all, I am crying. So, <laughs> my mom just walked past here and she tried to be ugly and she tripped up the stairs. Woo! That was funny. You see this little streak? Now I'm gonna teach y'all how to fix a tear streak. All right, so we're just gonna go back in with the brown shades and smoke out this bottom lash line. So now we're gonna highlight. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly 
Hill Glow Kit. And I'm going in with the shades Summer and Bronze. So for lips, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Liquid Matte Lipstick, Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade K, but I'm going to line my lips with this brown lipstick. And then I'm just going to put like a gloss in the center. And the pencil that I'm going in with is by NYX, and it's in the shade Brown Cafe. So for the center of the lips, I just put this pinky gloss on it. And I'm feeling it. So now it's time for the fun, fun part. You can leave the look like this, but I am going to add some freckles. So for freckles, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hill and this is in the shade dark brown and I'm also going to go in with my eyebrow pencil that I use just so I can have two different shades because freckles aren't one color. So I'm going to, since my pomade is dried out, I'm going to spray some setting spray. And we are going to mix the color together. Like this. And then make sure you wipe off the excess off your brush because you want the tip of your brush to be super pointy. Freckles aren't the same size, so don't be afraid to like go in with your creativity. You know what? I'm gonna go in with my concealer, the dark concealer, because the Anastasia thing is. I mean, it's working, but I think since I have like all this foundation on, it's not really working. So now we are going to go in with our foundation and lightly pat over this so it kind of looks like it's just skin and not like dots on the face. I'm going to do my hair and I'll be back to show y'all the finish. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. If you are a new subby, welcome to my channel and I look forward to seeing y'all in my next tutorial. Bye guys.